Good morning children. We already know the term addition. We have done the addition with carryover and without carryover. Do you know the terms used for the numbers in addition? For example, we have to add these two numbers. The numbers which are to be added are called addend. This is the first addend. This is the second addend. When we add these two numbers, we get the answer 9 plus 0 is 9, 2 plus 1 is 3, 5 plus 2 is 7, 3 plus 2 is 5. The answer we get is called sum. The numbers that we add, they are called addends. And the answer that we get after adding the numbers is called the sum. Now let us know about the properties of addition. There are three properties of addition. Number one, order property. Number two, grouping property. Number three, zero property. Now let us start with the first property that is order property. What is order property of addition? Now see the example. When we add these two numbers, 283 plus 514. When we add these two numbers, 3 plus 4 is 7, 8 plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 5 is 7. Now we change the order of these two numbers. 514 now we write at the top and 283 we will write below it. Now we add again 4 plus 3 is 7, 1 plus 8 is 9, 5 plus 2 is 7. Now see children in both the in both the sides you see the answer is same. This is the this is called order property. When we change the order of the numbers, it doesn't change the sum. This property is also called commutative property. Now the next property is grouping property of addition. In this, we make the groups of the numbers. For example, the first number is we have to add 21, 90 and 33. Now we will make groups. First we add, we will put bracket here. First we add 21 and 90. When we add 21 and 90, we get the sum. 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 plus 9 is 11. Now when we add these two numbers, we get the sum 111. Now the next number is 2, add is 33. To this sum 111, we add 33. When we add these two numbers, 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 3 is 4, 1. We get the sum 1. 144. Now we in the other way we make the group of last two numbers. 90 plus 33. First we add 90 plus 33. Here we add first two numbers. Here we add uh, last two numbers. 90 plus 33. We get the sum 123. Now, again, which number is left? 21. The sum of these two numbers is 123. Now, we add the third number to it. 123 plus 21. When we add these two numbers, we get the answer 
थ्री प्लस वन फोर टू प्लस टू फोर वन नाउ सी इन बोथ साइड्स द आंसर इज सेम वी कैन से द सम ऑफ थ्री नंबर्स इज सेम वेन वी चेंज द ग्रुपिंग ऑफ द नंबर्स ग्रुपिंग ऑफ द नंबर्स दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एसोशिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी नाउ द थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी इज एडिशन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ जीरो इन दिस प्रॉपर्टी वैन जीरो इज एडेड टू एनी नंबर और एनी नंबर इज एडेड टू जीरो वी गेट द सम the number itself when we add 0 to 389 the answer is 389 when we add 389 to 0 again we get the same answer means the number itself the number itself again we can Uh, do the next example when we add zero to four hundred thirty-two, we get the answer four hundred thirty-two. And uh, in the other way, when we add four hundred thirty-two to zero, we get the answer again four hundred thirty-two. The number itself. i repeat again when zero is added to a number or a number is added to zero the sum is the number itself thank you now let us solve the exercise verbally this exercise you will do in your notebook now we are doing verbally in this what we do is without adding fill in the blanks this exercise is based on the properties of addition first blank is 251 plus 408 is equal to 408 plus dash now what we see we see both side of the left hand side of the equal to this is the sign of is equal to we will side the left side of the is equal to and the right side of the is equal to see you will balance both sides now see to the left side there is 408 and the other side again 408 now which number is left 200 51 here you will write 251 now see the second question here the here the sign is equal to here the number is 607 plus 812 plus dash here 812 plus 607 plus 312 now balance the balance this the both sides 812 is this side 812 is this side 607 is this side 607 is this side now which number is missing 312 we will write 312 now c part 819 plus 0 0 is here 0 is this side then which number is missing 890 now the d part again the zero property of addition when we add zero to any number the answer remains the number itself 621 plus 0 is 621 only now see the e part again you balance both sides left hand side and right hand side 812 is this side 812 is this side Then eight hundred nineteen is this side. Eight hundred nineteen is this side. Which number is missing? Seven hundred six. We'll write here seven hundred six. 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 Seven hundred six.
706. Again, you balance the F part. 453 is here. This side to the left hand side of the is equal to. And 453 to the right side of the is equal to. Which number is missing? 780. Here we will write 780. This exercise I have done verbally with you. You will solve this exercise in your notebook. Thank you children. Have a nice day.